lovers, welcome once again to Of One Mind Beer Reviews. My name is Daniel. My name is Zeb. Me. That's it. Today we're going to drink from Barrel House Brewing Company in Paso Robles, California. Uh, they're is there blonde. Paso Robles anywhere else? <laughs> I don't know, there might be. Whoa! Whoa! I'll stay over here. Uh, they're blonde. Blonde ale. It's 5% alcohol. Uh, I haven't read the description. Does it have a description? Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to read it though. I'm not going to read it. We'll see what we come up with. Um, yeah, so I don't know much about it initially. I don't think I drank that when I was there. I was there. It's been probably, unfortunately, it's been probably two months, so we're just getting to it. Sorry. Sorry, Billy. This is, I think this is the last of our barrel house stuff, though. Probably is. I think. So, it, my point is, it may not be as fresh, well, obviously it isn't as fresh as it was <laughs> when I brought it home, but let's hope it's delicious. Yeah, it's a blonde ale, so, I mean, you know, it shouldn't be super hoppy, you shouldn't have to worry too much about yeah. that. 11 IBUs. Well, it's a nice thing here. Did you say the ABV? Yes, 5%. Okay. I did. Uh, mine's a little hazy, I got some of the bottom, so. You do that all the time. That's okay. So yeah, that's obviously got some a little sediment in it. Yeah, I mean yours is Mine's clear. clear. Like mm, it? what, like amber? Yeah, I'd call it a light amber. Light amber. I have a lot of one finger white head. White head. White. Why are you saying it like that? Huh. It smells good. Kind of smells like apples, like apple juice. I was gonna say fruity, but yeah, that, that falls within that uh, Yeah, apples are a amber. fruit. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah, it like, smells tasty. I mean, it's, it, I don't smell much else. It just smells like a glass of apple juice. Apple-y. Schlanta. Schlanta. Boy, that's a real drinkable beer. Mm. Taste? I don't know. It's a kind of, kind of like apple. That's really good. Nice job. Really good. Yeah, it's very refreshing. Um, so I'm getting that apple flavor that Zeb mentioned in the aroma, at least. Yeah. Grains, nice green backbone. Yeah, I get yeah. I get kind of fruitiness up front. A little hot bitterness toward the finish. I get grains in the middle, like you said. Hmm. The end is like. The, the end and the aftertaste is really impressive. Hmm. I get like a lot of like almost like potpourri type, type flavors. Yeah, it, it's kind of playing little uh, mm. well, that that like on my tongue. Really good. Flavorful of whatever you call it on the tongue. <clears throat> that, that was a good analogy. analogy. West Coast hops, when just enough I'd be used for those to appreciate the hops, not too overpowering. Those are looking for something balanced and drinkable. Boy, those are excellent terms for that beer. It is balanced and drinkable, yeah. That's, um, that's a good one. The beer imparts delicious citrus and fruit character with a smooth finish. So there's hmm. pretty blanket descriptions, but I mean, I'm getting a lot of, I get kind of like apple juicy up front, like I said. Grains, nice grainy. The grains are throughout, but it's, yeah. Yeah, it's like shines in the middle. It's kind of got that grainy. And the end is like, I don't know, I don't know what yeast they're using in there, but it's Awesome. Delightful. Like, yeah, I'm getting a lot of, like I said, like potpourri, flowery, but it's like also kind of fruity. Yeah. That is really good. Enough. The uh, mouthfeel is, it's actually a little dry. Yeah, it is a little dry. Which is I like that. Fine with me, I like mm -hmm. that. Oh, let's see. Might be the best blonde ale I've ever drank. Yeah, you know, I, can't, I can't think of one that's better off the top of my head. I think I've said this before, I, I always think I like blondes, and I, I, every time I go somewhere I'm like, oh, blonde, yeah, I'll drink that, and I'm kind of always a little disappointed. Disappointed, yeah, I'm the same But um, this one, I'm not that disappointed at all, it's actually really good. Yeah. Hmm. I wouldn't share that if I didn't have to. <laughs> good people, good times, and great beer. Yeah, so, as I've said before, I went to Barrel House, uh, cousin-in-law Billy works there. Oh, I had a great tour. Drank a lot of good beer. Want some more? Yeah, I'll take you some, want some more? I'll take some sediment. Yeah, there you go. Got you. Maybe that'll add some flavor. 
So uh, if you're in Paso Robles or make a special trip to go there. I mean, the other stuff we drank from them I liked. But this, out of what we drank, the double IPA was good. This might be a standard. I think th this is like really great. And uh, there's something to be said for, uh, I mean, you know, a lot of breweries right now are known for IPAs. Especially West Coast breweries. Like, oh, IPAs, 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 IPAs. Yeah. Everybody wants to drink the IPA, which is fine. I love IPAs. I love double IPAs. You'll never hear me say other, well, maybe eventually, but not right now. You won't hear me say otherwise. <laughs> yeah. But there's something to be said for someone who can craft a really small 5% beer and just make it excellent. Like, the flavors in here are incredible. Right. Yeah. Yeah, drinkability. I don't want to share that bomber. It's sad that <laughs> I hate to. <laughs> the, uh, the day I was there, there were also tons of beautiful women there, uh, just as an aside. <laughs> So maybe it's worth it just for that, you know? Um, Man, that is a great Is that okay beer. to say that? I don't know. Is yeah. that politically incorrect or anything? You can say there's beautiful women. <laughs> okay. There we go. So, uh, wow, wow. ratings? Yeah, beers? that's a five all day long. I agree. I mean, five. That is a superb beer. Wish I had a couple more of them. Yeah, it's just, it's so refreshing and like crisp. Awesome, awesome beer, really. Standout job there. All right. So thanks again to Billy and Jennifer for taking us there. And um, yeah, I wish I could go. <laughs> Next time, little show. I, there. <laughs> I like beer. Where you're going to? Where? Uh, uh, yeah, maybe. Oh. <laughs> uh, do you have anything else to say about this? No. Thanks for watching. Thanks, cousin Billy. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them below or send us an email. Please subscribe to the channel if you like what we are doing. Until next time, cheers. Cheers indeed.